getting uh, all set up to drill the holes in the new stand for the uh, PM45. Um, got it all clamped down to the um, wrong Fu 31 mill drill and uh, we're getting ready to drill our first hole. Um, got it all leveled out and uh, so far everything looks good. It's probably going to take me a good part of the day to do all this. But uh, here we go. First hole drilled. Uh, this one I drilled a quarter inch, uh, then half inch, and this is one inch thick. So there's our first hole. Turned out pretty darn nice, man. I'll tell you, there's nothing better than sharp drill bits. Got one three quarter inch hole done, uh, one half inch hole done, and starting on the uh, next uh, three quarter inch hole. So uh, moving along. Pretty slow, but it's going well. All right, finished uh, drilling all the holes. Um, they came out fantastic. And a uh, quick coat of rattle can. Uh, looks pretty darn good. I went with uh, Orchard Hardware Semi-Gloss Black. Works for me. I just didn't want it to rust and I didn't want to try to match that base. So um, I'll let it dry for a little longer and then uh, put the leveling pads on it and fit it on and, and then uh, Give you another shot of it and then level her out. Just got the uh, PM45 set on the new base. Um, now it uh, fits pretty darn good, man. I'm happy with it. Um, I got the stare at level on there and I'm going to start uh, leveling the thing out. Turning out pretty good. I uh, scratched it up a little bit. Because, you know, I'm doing this by myself and it moved around a little, but no big deal. I'm sure it's going to get all scuffed up anyway. Uh, so, got the uh, got it bolted down to the stand and the two points. And uh, it's pretty darn stable, man. I didn't even level it out yet. And it's, uh, it's uh, sturdy, man. So, I think this was a good choice on the base. 
Anyway, more to come. Got her all set up, on the stand, all leveled out. Um, arranged where it's gonna stay for good now. It's final resting place. Um, it's all leveled, I got it zero front and back, left to right, and now I'm gonna tram the head uh, to the table. So that's the next step. Uh, not sure how far out that's going to be, so we'll get that going and uh, hopefully it won't take too much adjustments. Oh, here we go. Okay, got the uh, head all trammed. Um, my column was loose. I, would, I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting zero front to back and uh, I checked uh, those column nuts and sure enough, they weren't tight. So I torqued them with a torque wrench all the same and um, I'm within a half a thousandth front to back but I'm zero um, left and right on the table so now I'm going to tram the vise I just threw it on the table so I'm sure it's going to be out let's take a look oh yeah it's already going out We're already five thou out. Okay, five, six, six, seven and a quarter thousandths. Um, so I'm gonna mess with this a little bit and get this to zero. Okay, I bumped it around a little bit, a couple times left to right, and uh, let's see how we got it. I call that pretty good. What do you say? I'm going to torque it down and check it again. Aside from a few minor details, the Precision Matthews 45 milling machine is officially up and running and uh, ready for service. Um, I got the um, power feed working flawlessly. Mill's running great. Forward. First. Quill DRA is working great. Inches and millimeters. Uh, my power down feed's working good. Everything's up and running. Um, I need to come up with a little better chip guard than what came with it. I really don't like the bellow type that was on here. So I'm gonna look for a little better solution. I like the ones that are on the um, my wrong Foo 31. So I might come up with something like that. Other than that, uh, this baby's ready to go. Uh, stand turned out great. It's really stable, man. Stable is a rock. Um, got the table, the head tram to the table, the vice tram to the head and table. Um, everything zero. Uh, I checked all the nuts and bolts. Everything is all nice and tight. Um, I decided not to use my flood system. I don't like flooding my tools or pulling them or whatever you want to call it. Um, so basically what I did is instead of having a separate outlet for my 110 uh, X axis power feed, I just tied it into my where the, uh, where the flood system would work. So basically it works off this switch. I can just uh, leave the power switch on on this and control it from up here. Uh, works out a lot better for me and a little less wiring. Um, so I'll video the first uh, first chips created by the PM45 here in the next couple days. So that's it for now. I gotta clean up this place. It's a mess right now. Hey thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it. See ya!